top 10 tips to speed up your side. So let's make a recover core web vital. Largest contentful pane. Website should have a largest contentful pane of 2.5 seconds or less. If the user waits more than four seconds to see the main page content that is considering a poor user experience. Largest content mode pane is one of the Google Core Web Vital metrics that impact search result ranking. And for at least 75% of visitors having a good experience to optimize your ranking. The first input delay measure how quickly a website responds to user interaction. The longer it takes for the page to respond, the worse the experience for the user will be. Input delays will be longer if the CPU is already busy doing other work on the page when the user tries to interact with the page. The first input delay metric measure how much time elapses between when the user first interacts with the pages and when the CPU becomes idle, which is when the event handler, the user interaction starts running. The time spent running the event handler does not count toward first input delay. So if your CPU is idle, the first input delay will always be zero milliseconds. So what counts as a user input delay. User inputs include clicks, taps, and key presses. A delay is captured if an event handler is delayed or if an HTML element responds slowly for other reasons. For example, clicking on a text input requires the page main thread to be idle. Even if no custom JavaScript code runs in response to, to the click, this also applies when clicking on a link or a drop down. The cumulative layout shift. This film strip shows an example of the page content shifting around after first being rendered. When the banner loads, the headline and article below. It sheets downward to make a space for the banner. For this space, the cumulative layout shift value is 0.13. If you look closely, there are actually two layout shifts on this page. The first on occur after 1.5 seconds, 2.5 seconds, when the web page Font loads, causing the titles and descriptions to render. After this, the description takes up little less space and the content below is shifts upward. So, as conclusion, before jumping on ways to improve metrics, we need to understand the current state of our application and where the bottlenecks are. Knowing how to measure the most important step to get confidence out of our initiatives. The problem could be anywhere in between our routing infrastructure and the application code. A content delivery network will place servers in many locations, but some of the most important are the connection points at the edge between different networks. Okay.